Welcome back, everybody. This is update 0.70. I have some interesting stuff for you this time around. Uh, first is uh, I have more scan base for so for those of you who have requested for some scan base like the Snow Snoqualmie Valley scan base. So I have that now. So if you hit escape, go to change bay. You see now we have uh, a few more here, which is the Renton Rifle Bay. Finally got the last one here, and then the Snoqualmie Valley um, base as well. Uh, those in Sokomi Valley are pretty small. So now folks who shoot action pistol can now model their stages here. And then uh, you also notice that in the scan bay menu, I have this new feature called saturation. So for those of you who want to use scan bays but find it really difficult trying to get nice imaging, nice pictures of their stages, uh, now you have this really cool feature which allows you to change the saturation of um, your base. So let me show you something. So let's load up the stage. Uh, this was the classifier, uh, the CM2101, I think, uh, that was put in the Renton Fish and Game Club Base 7, which was a pretty tight fit. And so if you look at the camera control now, if you go there and look at the picture, uh, it's pr kind of difficult to see, right? And then even if you toggle cell shading now, you can actually see, but you see that the, the bay is pretty busy, right, uh, compared to this. So what you can do now is if you go over to the Change Bay feature here, and change the saturation, you, incre you can increase the saturation, make it really colorful, or you drop it to black and white. And I find that dropping it to close to black and white is pretty cool because now if you go over the camera control uh, and you toggle cell shade, now your targets pop compared to the background, right? And because the background is black and white, you, s you can still see what the bay looks like and now you can actually see the targets. And so this is a pretty cool feature. This is called uh, saturation. You change bay and you can change it. So if you if you bump it up to full color, now you see it really rich in color. It all depends on how you want to um, print. You you want your photos to be right. The other thing you notice is I also changed the texture usage for most of the scan bays uh, and reduced that so that it will not be a hog for some of the people who have not so powerful machines. And so it just consumes less texture memory, so it's actually much faster and more efficient, although the quality kind of drops a little. As you can see, the ground here is a little bit blurry compared to this side. So you can see the transition between this texture and this texture here. Uh, and so basically, I'm sacrificing quality a little bit for speed and performance. I hope you guys don't mind. So, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, you really can't really tell the difference between the textures, right? So I guess the trade-off is uh, a lot uh, better or much more worth it. Next cool feature is the multi-select. Now before you could mul you can select multiple targets and move them or multiple props. So for instance, if I want to move these two targets and the wall, I'll just sh do shift click on this wall to select the first one. As you can see, it's highlighted. Shift click on the second one and then shift click on the third target now. And then when I want to move, I have to, before I made this change, I had to pick the first object. It's always defaults to the first object. So if I want to click and I click and drag, I can move the group, right? Um, and I can do Ctrl Z to undo. Now, the cool thing about this this new shift click is if you do shift click, shift click, shift click, I can click any target now. So I can click on this one and move this target. And now I can even select this, the second target here, click on that, and I'll move this, and I can change the orientation like that. Right? So that's pretty cool. If uh, And also to reiterate, if you want to select all, you just do Shift A and you select everything. And now I can just select, I'd say I want to move it based on this point here. I'll just drag it along like that. Right, so that's much improved as well. The other thing is uh, somebody requested for spell checking. Um, so if you go to the written stage briefing, you see now I have options to spell check each of this. Now the, the interesting thing about Unreal Engine is you can't, the text handling is not as rich as Word or you know like a website. So I can't show you the errors in the, um, let's say in spelling problems, spelling issues. Let's say if you type anywhere like double Y, it doesn't show you that like in Microsoft Word where you have an underscore here, right? it shows you, hey, this is, uh, there's something wrong here. The only way I could implement it is using an API call. So basically, once you do this, if you click on spell check, it will tell you that, hey, now you have this wrong spelling here and it will suggest to change this to anywhere. Now you can either just accept it and just hit cancel and make changes yourself or you can uh, let the system do it for you. So if you click change, change it for me, now you see that you've basically removed the Y. So now I have buttons for the start position, the procedure, the notes and the photo stage briefing as well. 
not an elegant way. Maybe one day I'll find an interesting way for Unreal Engine to solve this problem or maybe integrate some kind of web thing window here to do much richer spell checking and grammar checking. But for now, I think this would suffice, I guess. Right. So let me know. So yeah, that's all I have for you this week. A uh, bunch of cool features, quality of life changes. So give me some feedback. Again, you can go over to the menu here and click on the feedback, provide feedback through here, or you can join our Discord channel. The link to the Discord channel is in YouTube description below. I have a bunch of scam base that Tim has sent me from Oregon for two of his clubs down there, Dundee and uh, ARPC. So I'm going to be processing the scam base and we'll be including it into the tool. If you want to send me some scam base or find out how you can do that, uh, join our Discord channel and let's have a conversation. I can show you how to get it done. It's pretty straightforward. All you need is an iPhone 12 Pro or iPhone 13 Pro with a LiDAR scanner and you can get it done pretty quickly. Apart from that, have a great weekend and see you on the range.